Hi, my name is Jermaine Foster. I'm a presenter at BBC Radio Merseyside. I'm Liz Hall. I'm a tour guide here at World Museum. And we are here at the World Museum at the AI More Than Human exhibition. I'll be taking Jermaine on a tour of some of the exhibits. You may start to hear some barking or some growling from these cute little puppies here. Um, Liz, what are the name of these puppies? This is Ibo. It's a robotic dog from Sony. The I is AI for artificial intelligence and the bow is bot for robot. And what does Ibo do? Pretty much everything a real dog does. He barks, he walks around, he loves to come and have a cuddle, and he can do all sorts of tricks too. Ibo, shake hands. Yes! Good boy. Oh, Good so boy, cute. Ibo. He can also do some things maybe dogs can't do. Ibo, let's dance. There we go. Oh, awesome. <laughs> okay. You've been training these dogs for a while now, right? Now I the, have. The exhibition's going to be opening soon, so what does that mean for you and you and the dogs? I hope to continue training them, but they've got a new journey ahead of them. Now the public are going to be training them. They respond to stimulus, they respond to interactions, and they have sensors all over their bodies so they can feel you petting them. And the more you interact with them, the more they change and their personalities develop. So the more visitors we have that come and play with them, they'll have bigger and better personalities. So what would be some of the main functions and main uses then for Ibo? Ibos are really great for people who are maybe lonely or isolated. It gives you that feeling of having a connection with a dog without any of the mess. They're already used in care homes and hospitals for that purpose. So they would add like an extra bit of comfort then for people who are lonely. Absolutely. Ibo. Ibo, come back. They just like to wander off, I think. Yeah, they have a mind of their own. <laughs>